Hi, my name's Tim at Slide Dynamic, and this is a very quick tutorial of the new feature of our Slide Dynamic PowerPoint add-in uh, that leverages the sections in PowerPoint 2010 and uses those sections to build completely automatically non-linear on-slide navigation, which when you're presenting allows you to go to a different section, go to a different slide in real time in response to maybe a question or if you need to be more agile in the way you present to your audience. So here's what I've done. I've got about 30 or 40 slides. I've created some sections. I will just collapse those. So in 2010 you've got this nice feature of being able to group slides into these into these sections uh, that allows you to, when in edit mode, uh, find the slide you want and kind of work on it. Uh, so you can just click to open a section, work on that slide, versus kind of expanding, you know, having to go and try and find where the slide is that you want. You've got these sections, so um, basically it's just a whole lot easier to um, find the slides that you need when you need them. So what we've done is slide dynamic add-in basically takes those sections, takes the, the, the sort of hierarchy of those sections and the slides within them, builds the navigation automatically. So in order to do that, you simply go to the slide dynamic ribbon menu tab. You go to add menu template and you can initiate how you uh, reveal or invoke the navigation. It's default, it's hidden um, by a click or a mouse over. Let's do it by a click. Um, the only menu this works with is the accordion subsection menu, so only pick that one. And if you click the template, you'll see it adds a little icon which you can customize to each of the slides. This basically reveals the menu. Um, then you can go in and change the color, which is visible when the menu is uh, invoked. Uh, let's just go and change this just to show you how quick it is. We'll change the mouse over to green and the text to white. So this takes the slide titles and uses those as the uh, the menu items naming convention. And then finally, to generate all that navigation and the hierarchies of those sections and sort of the slides within them, you just hit the generate menu. It basically exports all that content and then you just close and reopen. And once you've reopened your PowerPoint presentation and you go into show mode, I've hit F5, you would then go and present as you normally would. Uh, you'll see that this little icon has been um, added to each of the slides. It's customizable. You can change its position size. You can even make it transparent. But if I mouse over it, you'll see that uh, my cursor turns into a hand. And if I click it, you'll see the navigation comes up. Now, I'm not going to cover all the functions or features, but you'll see here each of the slides menu items um, actually refers to the section and if I click one of those you will see that it basically reveals the naming of the slides within that section when you are in edit mode and if you mouse over you will get a thumbnail of the slide in question so that you can check before you navigate to it and if you need to just click your menu item and you will go and that's how it works so I can just bring up the menu at any point you can see the different sections I've created. I can just click and go to that section. So that's how you can basically navigate to a complex presentation that maybe contains different sections and concepts and respond to customers' audiences' questions. Anyway, that's the new feature. Thanks very much.